In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for ZnSO4 plus Na2CO3, zinc sulfate plus sodium carbonate. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that everything here is already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we can write the state for each substance. So sulfates in general are soluble with a few exceptions. So we're going to write AQ after zinc sulfate. It'll be soluble, dissolve, break apart into its ions. Sodium compounds are also very soluble, even though carbonates in general are insoluble. But when they're bonded to something like sodium or potassium in group one, they are actually soluble. They'll dissolve, dissociate into their ions. However, when you have a carbonate bonded to something like zinc, a transition metal, that's going to be insoluble. That means it's going to be a solid. These two substances, they're going to react, and this is going to create this solid here that will fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this ZnCO3, that's a precipitate in this reaction. Then we have a sulfate and then sodium compounds, very soluble, so we're going to put an AQ after that. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. Zinc is 2 plus, and the whole sulfate ion here is 2 minus. Good one to remember. So we'll have the zinc ion, that's Zn2 plus, and I won't write the states. Let's write those at the end. Then we have the sulfate ion, SO4, and that's 2 minus. Sodium is in group 1, so that'll have a 1 plus ionic charge, each one of those. Whole carbonate, 2 minus. So we have two of these sodium ions, and then we'll have our carbonate ion. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. This zinc carbonate, that's our precipitate, that's a solid. We're just going to write ZnCO3. We're going to keep this together. Then we said sodium was 1 plus, the whole sulfate was 2 minus 2 sodium atoms, just like the reactants. And then we have our sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus. That gives us the complete ionic equation. Now we'll cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So I have my reactants on top, then I have my products. I can see I have a sulfate ion in the reactants here, and again in the products. That's a spectator ion. We're going to cross that out two sodium ions in the reactants and two sodium ions that should have a plus in the products. We can cross those out. Those are spectator ions. What's left? We have the net ionic equation here for zinc sulfate plus sodium carbonate. I'll clean this up and write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for ZnSO4 plus Na2CO3. You see the atoms, they all are balanced out here. And if you look at the charge, it's also balanced. 2 plus, 2 minus gives us a net charge of 0. Over here, it's neutral, net charge of 0. So charge is the same on both sides. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for ZnSO4 plus Na2CO3. Thanks for watching.